Great, okay, so now we're going to thread our machine. So we've got the thread on the spool here. It goes up um, through the little, through the little loop. Now we're bringing it down and the thread goes through this prong here from the back to the front, around from the back to the front so we get that same little twist as we did when we were winding the bobbin. Then through this little one here. So through this, between these two um, tension discs, and they are going to be quite floppy so it's easy for the thread to come out again. So just be, um, just be sure that it is between those two. And then down through the bottom. And remember too that this, um, you shouldn't really need to touch this. This has to do with the length of thread that's left over with the automatic cutoff. So this doesn't actually affect your sewing tension. That's this one here. So please don't touch this. So now it comes down between the tension discs here, around, and then up, and then until it's this little spring here. So we've gone down between these, and you want to be able to see the tension on this little spring. Now it goes down underneath this little hook here, and then around again. And this is really just a guide here, another little guide, um, because the when I turn the lever, this um, uh, goes up and down. Sorry, when I turn the, the wheel, this lever goes up and down. So put it into the up position. And then we just want to have the thread going in there. And then down on the other side between this. And these two, just hold it in place and keep, it, keep a nice tight tension when this is going up and down. Okay, then we bring it down through this little hook here and oops to replace my bobbin snip my thread and then we're going to thread the needle from left to right any minute now we're going to thre thread the needle there we go from left to right and make sure that it's not swung around or knotted so we've got a nice straight line coming down through the needle. Okay, now when we turn the hand wheel on our machine, that'll take it, take the needle down and the thread, you're holding onto the thread and the thread will pull up the bobbin thread. Okay, so the bobbin thread is now up and visible. But what happens though is that both of these threads are now above the little safety guard here and we want them to actually be underneath the foot. So we just need to push these threads back down underneath the safety guard, lift the foot up with your knee and put the two threads underneath the foot and pull them both towards the back. Now you only have to do this the first time when you're threading the machine. After you're sewing and use the automatic cutoff, you shouldn't need to pull these threads towards the back again. Okay, and your um, machine is threaded. Oh, another important point is that you should have the machine should be switched off when you're doing any of the threading.